Oh, hey, I'm Lala. This is Flavors of New York. Look, it's cold outside. Winter has officially arrived in New York. I need something warm. I need something spicy. We are here at Urban Hawker, which is a Singaporean food hall um, based on the food stalls and markets that are all around Southeast Asia. This is my favorite thing. I know I say that a lot, but I truly mean that. We're gonna eat all the things. Let's do it. Hi, nice I'm Lala. You. Nice to meet you. How are you? So you're the chef at Walking Yeah, I'm the chef. Yes, 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 yes. This gentleman is going to feed us today. What are we having? Chili crab, black pepper crab. Oh, am I the luckiest person alive? Chili crab, one of the national dishes of Singapore. Yeah, I'm here to introduce to New York one of the iconic flavors of Singapore. Let's do it. Let's right. go. <laughs> right. Tell me about the space. Right. Uh, in Herbert in Herbert Hawker, this this whole food court, most of the hawkers here are from Singapore, and uh, I think they are very delighted to introduce to New York our unique flavors and culture, food culture, yeah, in that aspect. Absolutely. And there's, I read that there's 17 stalls here, and only four of them are not Singaporean. Right. Yeah. But it's Southeast Asian, like Philippines. Right. And, yeah. So and it all that. sort of ties in because. Singaporean food has um, influences from Thailand, Vietnam, India, China, obviously, so many places, correct? Right. Uh, it became, it, it evolves into a unique genre of food whereby you have a little bit of everything. We are, you have a little bit of uh, Thai, you have a little bit of Indonesian, you have a little bit of uh, Western. Yeah, so, and it's pretty well acceptable um, internationally. And especially um, among the Asians in New York that I realized. I think that Southeast Asia is perhaps my favorite place in the world. I've been to Thailand, I've been to Indonesia, I've been to Vietnam. I have not yet been to Singapore, but apparently I need to put oh, it on my should. list. Oh, you should. Yes, absolutely. You should. What a shame. I, it's on my list, perhaps next year, because I'm di I love that street culture, that food culture that just is so pervasive in Southeast Asia. It's such a beautiful thing. Right, we've we gotten the UNESCO uh, uh, thing, you know, for our food culture, especially the street food. And I think it's good that uh, uh, we can bring it here and share with the New Yorkers what, uh, how Singapore food is like. Yeah, and I, I, I read this, tell me if this is true, that in Singapore you don't greet people, you don't say hi, you say, have you eaten yet? And that's the right, first right. thing you say to people, right? Right, right, have you eaten yet? It's and like... I love that because that just shows how important food is in your culture, as it should be. Uh, among Asians, I think food is the most important. Yes. Because <laughs> we love to eat. Americans have it wrong. Work is number one, food comes much lower. You got, you got it right. <laughs> no, that, that's why we're here for. Hi, I'm Chef Lala here at Walk and Save in New York. And today we're going to go step by step to show you how we prepare our chili crab. Okay, first of all, did you hear that? She's Chef Lala. I'm also Chef Lala. Girl. <laughs> nice to meet you, Lala. Kindred spirits. Hey, Lala. Hell yes. <laughs> now show us the crab. I love Alrighty. that. <laughs> so these are the crab. They're delivered to us freshly every day. They're about two to two and a half pound Dungeness crab live. They're from Canada. First, we're going to kill it. Hell yes. You ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. Do it. Then we pour out the water. After which, we're going to take out all of these. Then we're going to wash it so everything is nice and clean. I like crab better than lobster, actually. You know, you feel like lobster feels, it's kind of seen as more of a luxury ingredient, but na 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 na, y'all. Crab is where it's at. I love crab. It's good to go. It's so good. So now we're going to beat it a little bit so it's easier for you to eat and so the juice can penetrate straight to it. So now we're going to move on to the cooking. So over to Krisha. Right, next I'm going to throw these in a wok and this slightly fried chicken the oil. So you just want to make sure that it's still moist. We're not going to overcook it. Oh, but make sure that it's cooked till just nice and the moisture is just inside. Here come the chilies. We're gonna put these. So that looks like two different types of sambal? Right, one sambal, the other kind of chili sauce. Okay. Right. You can smell the fragrance, the aroma. One of my and favorite smells. I don't want perfume, I just want to bathe myself in, in a sambal. Alright, so 
mix, we add a little bit of water because it's concentrated. Right, it's almost boiling. We're going to throw the crab in it. And it's going to simulate it with the chili sauce and make sure that the, the flavor gets into the crab. Getting content as well. Content on content on content. So here we have the monso buns. They goes with the chili crab. They are gonna be fried. So six monso buns per order. Chinese mini buns. It's almost ready. So we're gonna thicken the sauce with a little bit of monsters. To thicken up the sauce, yeah. Right. Yeah. A little slurry in there. From that cornstarch, the sauce is getting thicker, it's getting shinier, right. it's getting hotter too. <laughs> and then, and then, all right now, the interesting part. This is the cake hey. that I'm just going to yes. okay. put a little over it. And what does the egg do? Is that for flavor? Is that for thickening as well? It's for the smooth texture. Smooth texture. All right. And when you dip with the bun, mm -hmm. and it, it gives you a smoother texture. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at right. that sauce. Right. Right now we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is when I start okay. dancing. Like a complete nerd. One more step. If you just want to pour this sauce into a cup that I can drink, I'll oh, yeah, have sure. it as a cocktail. We'll mix if you, if you, if you're not, if you're not uh, worry about spiciness, no. it should be okay. Love spice. Right. That is gorgeous, chef. Hi, Lana. This crepe's ready for you. I hope that you enjoy it with me. Sure. Yay! We're gonna go eat now. Let's go. Okay, so I almost wore white clothing today, and then I realized I might be eating with my hands. So I'm glad that I changed. Well, you'll be a disaster. We wear white. I know, and I'm a really bad eater. I am messy, so I will get it all over me. So how should we start? You want to be fat? I don't. I don't mind it. I won't mind it. <laughs> Food right. is my favorite, so bring it on. All right. Now you're gonna use. Put on the glove, and then use this. This is not correct. We're putting on gloves, apparently, people. Okay? Right. And then we've got our little crab cracker. So I'm from a state called Maryland, where they're oh, famous yes. for crabs. I don't know if you know that. Yep. Much different than this crab, though. Oh, it's a, it's a different shape. Yeah, inside. they're tiny. They're right. like, they're blue crabs. They're longer legs. Mm -hmm. right. So tell me about this. Right, this is a Dungeness crab from mm -hmm. Canada. Yep. Uh, the meat is sweeter, but back in Singapore, we use the Sri Lankan crab. Sri Lankan crab uh, is bigger, uh, it has more meat, but the meat of this vaginous crab is sweeter. Uh, you can taste it uh, when you try it. And let me know how it tastes. Oh my god, I am so excited. Also, about this stall, so Anthony Bourdain obviously passed away in 2018, oh, yes. but he had a hand in this. He was working with his own plans to open up a hockey stall, Singaporean food stall. And then when he passed, one of his partners was the man who brought this place right, to life. Right. Oh, Sito. Yes, yes, Sito. Yes, yes. Sito. So he does have, you know, there's sort of like Anthony Bourdain influence happening here, which I love. All right, so ooh, let's, oh, look at that meat. And I just want to- Oh, you wanna, know how to eat crab? I, That's the best part. I told you, I was raised around crabs. Mm. Like I said, I will drink that sauce. It is spicy and a little bit sweet, garlicky, pungent. It's it has more layers. It does. No, it has no. a lot, a lot of layers. It's a, uh, uh, it's a layer of tastes where you can actually, but you still can taste the sweetness of the crab. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and that's what I love. That right. So the the important thing is that you should not over crack it when you cook. Okay. Because otherwise. Uh, the strong spice flavor will actually mask all the natural sweetness of the crab. Because so crab is delicate. Right. So yeah. you just have to crack it slightly mm -hmm. and cook it till just nice. Like you see the, the fresh, the, the, the 
tukang. Yeah. It is like not overcooked, not undercooked, and it's it is nicely. Yeah, it's perfectly and cooked. I mean, obviously, I'm shoving all this crab in my mouth, but tell me about that. Right, this, this is a little bun. Uh, we call it manto. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a Chinese uh, food. It's actually a Chinese staple. Okay. Right, but uh, we used to complement it with the crab. And the way to eat it is to actually dip, dig in with the sauce. Okay. Right, just oh, like Yeah, this. just get that sauce. It's like a vehicle for this delicious sauce. Right, and uh, it's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's like, it's a donut. I mean, it's essentially... Mm -hmm. Just a beautiful, crispy outside, soft inside. Right. It's one of, one of our national past, pastime. One of our national pastime, like Singapore. Uh, they used to, you know, hang out with friends. Uh -huh. uh, crack, chili crab. Yes, pastime and chit chat. Yeah. And drink beer, maybe? It's a perfect beer food. It, exactly, that's exactly what we do in Maryland. We right. drink beer and eat crab. So right. tell me about the other dishes that you have on your menu? Okay, we have the black pepper crab as well. Okay. It's a different version, uh, it's peppery. Mm -hmm. it's, the aroma is uh, um, it's peppery aroma. Mm -hmm. It's a different taste or different experience altogether. Instead of spiciness, you have the pepper aroma in the mouth after you, after you taste it, the aftertaste. And um, it's probably butter and black pepper sauce. Okay, that also sounds epically amazing. What else? I saw what looked to be some beautiful pork belly. Yeah, uh, the pork belly and um, the pork rib soup that we're featuring today is actually one of the Singapore icons. Okay. Yeah, they call it bakute. Where, um, it's a very, very known and very well liked Singapore dish. This looks homey and comforting and delicious as well. What is this, chef? Oh, this is a pork rib soup. Okay. It's one of the very popular dish in, in, in Singapore. Mm. And uh, you can see this is a pork rib. Beautiful. It's tender, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And this is a soup that goes with, uh, and we go with this. Uh, Crispy bread? It's a, actually a bread roll, deep okay. fried. We call it yu tiao. Okay, you tell? Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, rice and some vegetables. Beautiful. You can smell the cilantro, you can smell all the herbs. Right. That's also what I want to eat when it's super cold outside. Right. Um, this is a very comfort food. Yeah. A very comforting food where during winter it's cold, you know, you can you know, get a peppery uh, aroma okay. and it's also the, the fragrance of the herbs and all that. What's the, what's the Singaporean name? Bakute. Bakute? Yeah, Bakute. I should probably have some, huh? Right. All right. I want to just try the broth. It looks very hot. Mmm. Very complex. There's Is there star anise in that? Right. What else? There's so many things. Yeah. Uh, the sweetness comes from the pork ribs. Pork ribs. But we braise uh -huh. it, uh, but we actually poach it and actually boil it for hours. Uh, with some chicken, some pork bones, and then we put spices in it. Like I said, uh, Singapore food or Malaysian, Southeast Asian food use a lot of spices. It's so it's layered and it's such, it's, it's, it's a delicious broth. I'm like at a loss for words. Right. You can actually, um, um, actually taste the pepper. The spiny, mm -hmm. a little bit of cinnamon. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to compare it maybe to a pho broth, but that doesn't do it any justice because this is way better. I feel like this has a lot more flavor. Pork belly. And look at this pork belly. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. No problem. And how long have you been here? What What was your journey to get here? Oh yeah, I, I worked with uh, KFC too before. Okay. Uh, we, we came a long way. Um, KFC Cho, he is the the man who brought this hall to life. Right, right. And he's from Singapore as well. Yeah, he's from yes. Singapore as well. So, um, so actually, uh, he was the one that introduced me to this place. And okay. He, he said that uh, it's, it's a good idea to have chili crab here in New York. Because this restaurant is a very famous restaurant in Singapore. Right. Walk and Staple, correct? Um, no, it's actually Dragon Phoenix, but Walk and Staple is a brand extension. Brand extension of yeah. Dragon Phoenix. Right, okay. 
Uh, in Dragon Phoenix, we mainly uh, doing bank picking and all that. Okay. So, Walk and Stapler is a brand extension where we offer a more casual food in a more casual dining environment. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, this is our direction for Walk and Stapler. Okay, and this is the first location in the States, correct? Right. It's so and, and, good. And, and I'm certain that it will be the last. It will not be the last. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten anything on me yet, but I'm going to keep eating and never say never. Thank you so much, Chef. I really appreciate meeting you and Thank you. My pleasure. watching you make this and then getting to eat it is obviously the best part. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having a really hard time stopping because there's a lot of crab here, so I'm not going to stop. For Flavors of New York, I'm Lala. See you next time.